Hey, you Tia. What's up? <laughs> All right. What's up, UTM? Thank you so much for clicking play on this video to watch. I hope you're going to watch this in the entirety of the video. It's only going to be about <laughs> three minutes long, so like, bear with us as three we get minutes? there. Three minutes? Three minutes. Yeah. One, two, three. That's good. All right. So we are, this video or this vlog is going to be about our CFS meeting. So we attended a CFS national general meeting that took place in Ottawa, Gatineau mm -hmm. from June 4th to the 7th. Right, so this was a meeting with uh, most of the students' unions across across Canada. Right, so we have uh, students' unions from BC, students' unions from uh, Ontario, students' unions from Nova Scotia, and we all decided in the same spaces discussing different issues that affect students across Canada. Right, Canada wide. Yeah. As a student movement. Right, so this is just so we can all we can improve as a student movement moving forward and talking about issues that affect us personally on each of our campuses, right? So I'm just gonna get into some of the topics that we discussed and talk about it briefly. If folks have any questions, please make sure you hit the comment section below and tell us how you feel about different things, all right? So the first thing I wanna talk about is one of the main things that was a big issue throughout the conference was the issue of police brutality. So we, uh, as, a, as a person of color, we are both people of color, but as a black man living in the city of Toronto and the city and the GTA area, we do experience a lot of racial profiling, a lot of police brutality. I'm sure folks have seen in the news of issues that are occurring all across the globe, especially in the United States of America. And those issues are issues that affect us here in Canada as well too. So we just want to bring those conversations back here to our campuses, see how people feel about these issues and make sure that we actually talk about it and talk about how we can make changes happen here within the spaces that we live in in Canada and within the GTA. So we'll look forward to discussion sessions being held and if you have any questions and want to get involved, please hit the comment section below or message me personally at president at utmsu.ca. All right, so the next thing that we had talked about in the CFS was so uh, something about the free post-secondary education. So we were actually kind of brainstorming on ideas on how we can make the government uh, have a free post-secondary education for all the students. So uh, this motion was served by one of the locals, uh, in local university, and this basically said that the Canadian Federation of Students should start uh, uh, initiating investigations and research on the feasibility of free education in Canada. So this basically means that look on, look on uh, the alternatives where um, we can provide to the government where we can get free education. So that's one thing that we had discussed upon and as a student movement we did agree to it. Uh, the second thing that we also talked about wait, wait, was... Wait, 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 wait. But imagine free post-secondary education, people. I mean, I just wanted to put that out there. Keep going. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, imagine free online. Let me not get into that. Like, Let's be like Germany. That's all I'm here. <laughs> all right. So second thing that we talked about, which is really problematic today, is the Bill C-51. I'm sure most of you might have heard of it already. So this has been a, re a bill that has been put forward by the current government and has been really problematic for various human rights reasons. So during this conference, we actually had a chance to have a presentation by two human rights lawyers who actually spoke in detail about this bill and um, there was a motion put forward by our friends at York University about this bill of, uh, about this bill and how we as a student movement should condemn this bill and we did so. So uh, do you want to talk about the next one here? Uh, the next one is our discussion about our Oolala app service. Right? So we do have an app that is going to be released really soon. And that app is going to be a mobile app that folks can get to see on their phones, on their computers. And we're going to make sure that this app is accessible to every single UTM student on every platform. So imagine being able to get updates from the UTMSU on our app. So just like this is something really exciting. So you can look forward to it as soon as possible. So check, check up our Facebook pages, check up our Instagram, our Twitter. We have this information coming out to you soon. Right? One more thing I wanted to talk about that did happen at this national meeting was a discussion about rights of indigenous folks. So there are a lot of indigenous folks here in our, on our campus, in our region, and we just want to ensure that the rights and the issues that affect indigenous folks on this campus is taken into consideration whenever anything is being discussed, whenever anything is taking place, right? These are folks that we tend to not even think about in our 
day-to-day -day conversations in our lives. We want to make sure that these folks are the discussion centered around the, the indigenous folks on this campus and around the, and around the country is taken into consideration whenever anything is discussed. Right. So I want folks to think about indigenous folks. And there was a report that was actually released uh, by the federal government. So I encourage folks to please take a look at that, and then you can find a link in the comment section. That below. Truth and Reconciliation Committee yes. has released the report about the boarding schools in Canada. So. Finally, I would just like to wish all the students here a really good and fun -filled summer so far. I hope you all given, uh, most of us who took a summer school had given exams and I hope you, you all did great in your exams. I'm looking forward to meet you next semester starting on July, sometime in July, I'm sorry. I'm I can't kidding. remember, like July, <laughs> it's two weeks from like now, so like July 7th, yeah. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Get that. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye, UTS. Bye, UTS.